Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the concept of net sectional area. So, what is net sectional area and what is gross sectional area? I'll explain you these things. See, it says when a tension member is joined with gusset plates by rivets or the bolts, the gross section is reduced by rivet or the bolt holes. So what does that mean? For example, this is your angle section. Let us assume that this is your angle section and it is connected with a gusset plate like this. There is a gusset plate behind it and it is connected. So you can use either the welding or the bolting. But in our case, I am giving you example of bolting. Or the riveting you can use either the bolts or the rivets so this is getting connected like this let us imagine or let us assume that this is your bolt okay so what happens if you want to find out this area the area of this angle you will have to deduct this much area because this much area is getting either getting drilled or hold you are making the hole to insert the bolt into bolt into it so this much area is getting reduced so the total area of this angle will be known as gross area but if you subtract this particular area of the bolt you will get the particular area and that's nothing that is nothing but your net area so which one it will be that this one see which i am highlighting now this one will be your which one area it will be your gross area this one okay so obviously the net area will be less than the gross area gross area will be more than the net area like this you can make a conclusion but how to find out this area so that i will show you okay so the reduced sectional area is called as net sectional area or just the net area see this is the definition of net area what it says when a tension member is joined with gusset plate this one is known as gusset plate what it is known as this is your gusset plate and your angle is getting connected with this gusset plate then it is getting connected by what rivets or bolts this is condition if you are using welding so, so weld will be like this so welding because of welding there is no reduction in your area of the angle but in case of bolting there is reduction in the area so this condition is must either you can have rivets or the bolts so the gross section will be reduced and that reduced sectional area will be known as either net sectional area or you can just refer it as net area so how you can calculate this net area so we will have two conditions now i'll explain this thing very in a detailed manner because your 12 mark question at least 12 i am talking about 8 or 10 mark question or 12 mark question will completely depend on how you will identify how you will calculate the net area because in case of design strength of your tension member you will have to calculate the net area so how you can calculate the net area first you must be very much well known about that then and then only you, you will be able to find out the final strength and that numerical which is asked for the calculation of final strength or the design tension strength that will be asked at least for 8 10 or 12 marks so you must know you see this video how i am calculating the net area so first arrangement it says chain riveting or bolting so what is that let us assume that you are having a plate or an angle like this and the bolts are arranged like this so this type of arrangement is known as what arrangement this is known as your chain arrangement like this there will be a gusset plate like this and like this so this is your gusset plate and this is your either plate or the angle and these are your bolts which are connected which are connecting not only the gusset plate to the angle okay like this so how you can find out the net area so we have formula 
a and b ha huh? yes one more is one more thing is important this is your application of load you will apply your load ultimate load in this direction pu means the load which is applied in our case it is a tension member that's why the load will be full and i'll denote it by p or the pu only p or pu either of that so the formula for calculation of net area is b minus ndh into t now ndh what is ndh i'll show you first what is b b will be this bit this one will be the b you will also take the numerical so don't take tension first watch this video if you still don't get it how to find out the net area we will also take the numerical and in that definitely your concept will be clear so it says b let us imagine that this is your b so i'll put p value here minus n now what is n see you will see uh, tell that 3 3 3 and 3 there are 12 number of volts but it is not like that if you pull this plates like this in this direction generally the type of failure will be like this like this okay so you have to take only the single line in case of chain bolting so which is the single line you can take anyone how many number of words are there in a single line there are only three words so in our case there will be three number of words now what is dh it is the diameter of hole what is dh it is diameter of hole there is quite a difference between d and dh d d means your diameter of bolt and dh will be the diameter of hole which one will be greater obviously this one will be the greater diameter of hole will be slightly more than the diameter of bolt we have some formulas how you can differentiate d and dh means for particular let us imagine that there is 18 mm diameter of bolt so for that the dh will be 20 mm this i will show you while i will be taking the numerical but just remember there is a difference between the d and the dh i'll show you this one later so we have dh now what about t t will be given that thickness of plate or angle is so and so so you can easily find out that so in this way you can find out the area of net area of particular plate then the second type of arrangement is the zigzag or the staggered riveting now what is zigzag or staggered riveting let us assume the same type of plate again these two formulas I am talking about, these are for plates only. Okay, see the previous one which I showed you, this one B minus NDH into T. This is for plate. If a plate is connected with the gusset plate, then you, you will use the formula. And if angle is getting connected, so this one I will not explain you now. I will explain this thing in the numerical directly. I will take the numerical and in that I will explain you in a detailed manner and you will definitely uh, learn that or you will definitely it, it is very easy actually and because without this you cannot solve the big problems okay so it is must to understand this so i will not cover the angle if angle is getting connected with the gusset plate that i will not show you i am only showing you the plate and this one i'll concept this particular concept i'll clear it you in the numerical then coming back to the zigzag or staggered riveting now what is zigzag riveting like this for example one rivet is here another one is here and another one is here and another one is here so this one see the path will be zigzag one and let us assume that this one is here so there will be another path like this if it is a b c d and e so in in this type of case in this case generally what happens the failure may be like this the failure either go like this or like this or the vertical one also see this one we cannot ignore like this so how many paths will be there from a to b there can be a possible failure from c alone like this only c can failure fail so c failure can also be possible then from d to e there is possibility d to e then there is possibility that failure will occur like this a c e so there will be a c e failure there is possibility that failure will be like this b c b b c b so there are various paths these are known as nothing but path so there are various paths that are available there are chances that your plate will fail and this one will be again your gusset plate okay so 
So what is the formula for in this case? Now first let me tell you what is stagger. I will tell you what is stagger. Stagger means for example there is a bolt one, one bolt here and there is another bolt here and there is third bolt here. And if your path is like this A, B and C. So if you are going like this diagonally and if you are going like this diagonally. So how many times you are going diagonally one time and two time. So there are two staggers here. Number of staggers will be how many? Two number of staggers will be there. Let us assume this much. This this one. One, two, three, four, and five. And we have another one here, another one here, like this. So there is possibility that your failure will be like this, or like this, or it will be like this. Actually, it should be here. Huh? So like this. But it can go like this also. Let us assume that this is A, this is B, C, D, this is E, F and G. So how many paths are possible? First take all the chain path, chain path A, B. A, B is your first path. Then C, D, E. This is your second path. Then F, G. F, G is your third path. Then there is possibility that failure will be like this. A, B, D, E. Like this also. A, B, D, E. Then there is possibility like this also. A, B, D, G. A, B, D, G. So there are various paths. Even F, D, G, E. F, D, G, E. Various paths are there. First, let us ignore this 3 1 chain riveting. Talking about this one, I have to explain you what is stagger now. So A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E. So how many staggers are there? If you are going vertically like this, there is no stagger. But if you are going diagonally like this, either left or right, so there is one stagger here. Then you are going to D. No stagger. Only one stagger will be there in this path. One stagger. Then A, B, D, G. A to B, B to D, and D to G. So how many staggers are there? A to B, there is no stagger. But B to D, there is one stagger. Because you are going diagonally. And D to G, there is one more stagger. So there are two staggers in this case a b d g so there will be two staggers so how many staggers are there that many times you will have to take this value p square by 4g i'll explain this thing let us assume that the path is a b d a b d so the final formula will be b minus n into dh plus p square by 4g into t how many staggers are there one stagger so you will put this p square by 4g term only one time let us assume that path is this this one so for this path we have this value no so a b d g a b d g is what b minus n into d h now how many staggers are there two a b d g a b d g one stagger and two stagger this one is second one so two staggers are there so you will have to put two times p square by 4g plus p square by 4g into t as it is so how many times your staggers are there, that many times you will have to put your p square by 4g value. Then f d g e, f d g e, see 1, 2, 3, there are 3 staggers. So you will to put for p square by 4g 3 times like this. So this was the formulas for calculation of net sectional area of plate. You, can, you got the concept, what is net sectional area? In case of plate also, in case of angle also. But I have not explained the formulas for calculation of net area for the angles. See, we have seen how to calculate the net sectional area for the plate. Both the formulas are for plate. First one which I showed you in the previous slide. This one, B minus N into DH into T. This one is for chain bolting like this. Only the chain. You will not take this type of paths. Then second one will be the staggered bolting like this. If you are placing the bolts like this in the staggered manner or the zigzag manner, then there is one more formula which is like this. Where it is? Highlight this one. This one I am talking about. This one. So, there are two formulas. One which we have seen in the previous PPT and this one. There are two formulas. But these are for only, I am taking telling you again and again, these are for these are for the calculation of net area of the plate, not the angle. Angle I will be showing in the numerical directly. Okay. So this was the video on concept of net sectional area. Thank you.